December 2023. Mandala. Farewell, Daisaku Ikeda the late Daisaku Ikeda. I learned about Soka Gakai when I was in Delhi and went to visit a friend in a hospital. This group was there to ask if she needed any kind of help. I noticed that Soka Gakai members were ready to help everyone, whether or not they were members of their group. Therefore, like many, I felt very sad when I heard that the founder, Daisaku Ikeda, who helped spread Nichiren Daisanen, a Buddhist philosophy of Japanese origin around the world through his organization Soka Gakai, died on November 18, 2023 from natural causes at the age of 95. The institution has 12 million members in 192 countries and territories worldwide. He served as the honorary president of Soka Gakai International which he founded in 1975. The spiritual organization encourages the chanting of the mantra Nam, Nyoho Renge Kyo which when loosely translated means overcoming one's difficulties and manifesting one's spiritual nature which they consider the essence of Buddhism. They encourage everyone to manifest their Buddha nature which they maintain is present in all of us. Daisaku said that when we dedicate ourselves to achieving our goal, we are not bothered by shallow criticism. He has moved on physically but his teachings will remain with us as they are eternally relevant. The organization is always seeking to help others and has published many books and magazines to motivate everyone. This noble work will continue as Daisaku has laid a strong foundation. By Jamuna Rangachari Promoting Yoga as a Way of Life There are many yoga centers all over India and even in the world but only some are driven by a completely service-oriented outlook like the Bharatiya Yoga Sandstam. Sri De Raji, the current president, has been with the association since 1985 when he embraced yogic practices as a student, sadhak, within the institution in Delhi. De Raji went to the center initially to cure his wife's heel pain and then became a dedicated sadhak himself along with his wife. He was very inspired by the late Sri Prakash Lalji, the founder, who bestowed his wisdom, care, and affection on him. He remains dedicated to Bharatiya Sanstan's mission of Geo Our Geo Indu, which means living meaningfully. Values and the youth of this country. He feels the citizens of India need proper direction and purposeful leadership so that their energies can be channeled properly into constructive, imaginative, and innovative work. He believes that by following the path of Ashtanga Yoga and selfless service, we can produce morally upright and spiritually enlightened citizens. De Raji runs more than 4,000 yoga centers throughout the country. All these centers are running free of cost with the voluntary contributions of sadhaks. These centers are spread over India and as well as globally since the principles of yoga are universal. Knowing his zeal and passion, we are sure we shall hear a lot more about him, especially when yoga is being acknowledged globally. By Jamuna Rangachari A Welcome Dose of Spirituality at Aimst The world is definitely moving towards integration in the body-mind-spirit domain. In the first week of October, the premier government hospital, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, IAMS, formed a committee to recommend a plan of action for a department on spiritual medicine. New steps always face opposition. Some faculty members opine that it is against scientific temperament and will show this premier health institute in a poor light. They said that this step will show the institute is promoting anti-science activity since the committee has even decided to legitimize it in the form of a department. The spokesperson of the hospital responded by saying the proposal is in a nascent stage. The aim is to aid the modern medicine departments. By including yoga and Reiki. Many universities abroad are already doing this, the spokesperson said. Some sources said there is also a plan to introduce spirituality in the MBBS course. Like all new beginnings, this too would take some time to begin. The opposition may even continue later. However, the direction is clear. IMS does wish to include spirituality in its syllabus. This should have taken place much earlier in a nation steeped in spirituality. Nevertheless, it is a welcome step though a little late. Just like yoga is a mantra of fitness globally now, spiritual sciences too shall be, in our opinion. The spiritual sciences department will take some time to be completely operational. There could be more discussions and brainstorming as this requires understanding new domains. 
This is a radical step in the body-oriented view of hospitals where everything relies on tests and more tests. Hopefully, if all goes well, it will set the path for many others to follow suit, thus making spirituality a part of most places of healing. It is only when there is complete openness that there will be progress, which will surely benefit all. Kudos, Iams, for taking this step. By Jamuna Rangachari